Hello everyone, I am Shreya Bhattacharya, 2018 batch MSc Physics VIT. Right now I am the PhD student in uh, Royal Observatory of Belgium. Uh, so I started my physics education by completing my bachelor's from uh, Lady Brabham College, Kolkata. And then I shifted to VIT for my master's studies. Now one of the reasons why I chose VIT for completing my master's is that they cover a wide variety of subjects uh, like uh, biophysics, like uh, nanomaterials which is very unlikely in other institutions uh, so when the final stage comes so when you have to choose a particular topic for pursuing your master thesis or uh, for your career you can make a very well informed decision by all of this so for me it was always astrophysics now one of the other most interesting thing that VIT offers is that they let you do your master thesis outside of the home institutions so uh, for me, I chose to apply for the astrophysics uh, institutions, which uh, offer internship for the amateur uh, researchers. Uh, but it was not very easy because after facing many rejections, I finally went through the screening process for Indian Institute of Astrophysics and uh, I was chosen for the uh, solar physics department by Professor Dipankar Banerjee. So I completed my master thesis over there under him. Now, if you see the course structure of VIT carefully, you can find a lot of subjects apart from physics like uh, statistical studies and also the uh, subject based uh, projects that we are allowed to carry. Uh, they taught me a lot of uh, programming languages like R, like uh, the Python, etc, which uh, helped me a lot for getting the master thesis because uh, this is a field of observational physics and you need a lot of exposure to this software for uh, getting the opportunity for carrying out your project. So after my master thesis, I was preparing for my NEET exam to pursue my PhD in India. At that time, I was informed by my master thesis guide, uh, Pankar Banerjee sir, that there is an opportunity of PhD here in the Royal Observatory. Uh, in the subject uh, which I have carried on my in my master thesis, that is uh, in solar physics. So I, uh, I applied for the uh, position. And after eight months of screening process, uh, which uh, involved various stages of interviews with the faculty members, with the director of the observatory, I finally landed the position. Uh, but I understand that this waiting time can be a little bit frustrating given to the fact that uh, your engineering friends are getting, you know, getting placed with high salary packages and you are just in the middle of a struggling period. But uh, I think after getting the position, it was all worth it. So right now I'm working on uh, sunspot analysis, uh, which is a very interesting subject uh, from my perspective. And uh, it involves a lot of statistical methods as well, and uh, as well as, you know, like uh, doing dealing with a lot of computational languages uh, like Python, uh, like C++. So I think the projects and uh, the courses that we had to give me has helped me a lot uh, by uh, making me ready for taking up such challenges at my workplace now. The papers I published uh, in respect to the set conferences that VIT organizes every year also added a little bit of, uh, more value to my profile for getting me uh, selected in the PhD position here. I'm very fortunate that I got a strong support from my teachers, especially Balakrishnan sir. Uh, and I think whatever additional values that uh, I got apart from studies uh, in BIT has helped me to grow a lot better and, uh, you know, finally land up with an opportunity like this. I know some of you might be missing your home or maybe your home cooked food, but believe me, the mess food is the one which you will miss when you go out of VIT but uh, <laughs> apart from the jokes I think uh, there's a lot more opportunities out there just be ready to grab them when one come in your way. Being a part of the uh, very big VIT alumni community I'll try my level best to help you whenever needed so and also apart from me I think uh, in any you can reach out to any VIT alumni and they will try to help you at any point of time. Also you can reach us through Bala sir I think uh, he also have our contacts and that's it i think uh, just grab the opportunities that come to your way and have a very good future endeavor and uh, all the best enjoy your vit life